Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh, today I would like to share a short devotion on three keys from the Martha Mary incident. Three keys from the Martha Mary incident. So I would first like to read the biblical passage on Luke chapter number 10 verses 38 to 42. And then we shall quickly go to the three points. So here is Luke chapter number 10 verses 38 to 42. Now it happened as they went that he entered a certain village and a certain woman named Martha welcomed him into her house. And she had a sister called Mary who also sat at Jesus' feet and heard his word. But Martha was distracted with much serving and she approached him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Therefore, tell her to help me. And Jesus answered and said to her, Martha, Martha, you are worried and troubled about many things, but one thing is needed, and Mary has chosen that good part, which will not be taken away from her. So here is the biblical scripture, and let's quickly look into the three points. So key number one is listening to God patiently. Listening to God patiently. Now, Mary chose to listen to Jesus, and she sat at the feet of Jesus to learn from him. Uh, if you read the conclusion of the Sermon on the Mount, uh, in Matthew chapter number 7, verse 24, Jesus says, Therefore, whoever hears the saying of mine and does them is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. And Mary here, in her desire, or in her decision to listen to Jesus, is becoming a wise woman who is building her house on the rock. In fact, just as in the parable of the sower, she is like the one who received the seed on the good ground, uh, who will bear fruit. This is mentioned in Matthew chapter number 13, verse 23, where who hears the word and understands it, and who indeed bears fruit and produces 30, 60, 100 fold. And so the first key over here is that you must listen to God patiently. Unless you're willing to listen to God's word patiently, you cannot work for him effectively. And this is why Jesus says in Luke chapter number 10, verse 42, that one thing is needed and Mary has chosen that good path which will not be taken away from her. So key number one, listening to God patiently. Key number two, serving joyfully. Serving joyfully. Now, a serving others is a beautiful thing. Mother Teresa is known to have said, helping hands are better than praying lips. And even our Lord Jesus Christ, he says in Mark chapter number 10, verse 42, For even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and give his life as a ransom to many. And so serving and much serving isn't the problem. But how you're serving is an important thing. If you are troubled, if you are worried, if you are distracted from the word of God, then that is a very big problem. In fact, Martha, if we compare Martha in the parable of the sower, she would be like the one who received the seed among the thorns and the cares of the world choked the word and she became unfruitful. And so this is a big problem. Uh, one needs to understand if you and I, if we have the most expensive mobile phone, which has multiple features and it can multitask, but if that mobile phone is never charged, then it doesn't matter. The dead phone is useless. So the same thing with us. Unless we are willing to receive God's word, we will be not effective. Right? So here is the first thing is to receive the word of God and then joyfully serve others. So as Jesus promised in Luke, in sorry, in John chapter number 12, verse 26, he says, If anyone serves me, him my father will honor. That is John chapter number 12, verse 26. If anyone serves me, him my father will honor. So once again, key number one is listening to God patiently. Key number two is serving joyfully. Key number three is loving wholeheartedly. Now, just like Martha, many of us are excited when we see Jesus, when we know about Jesus, and we invite Jesus in our house, oikos. And when Jesus is in our house, he gives the word, the logos, and we might get distracted. Instead of listening to Jesus, we might be serving many others. And that is a very big problem. You cannot neglect the ministry towards Jesus by being distracted. To the church in Ephesus, in Revelation chapter number 2, verse 4 to 5, Jesus commends the church for their work their labor, their perseverance, but he also gives a stern warning. He says, Nevertheless, I have this against you, that you have left your first love. 
Therefore, remember from where you have fallen and repent. So the key over here is this. Your ministry for Christ towards others must never be at the cost of neglecting your ministry to Christ, your primary ministry of love and worship to Christ. That must be the forefront of things. This is why Jesus himself says to his disciples in John chapter number 15 verse 4, Abide in me and I in you, as a branch cannot bear fruit unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. So in conclusion, uh, let's listen to God patiently just as Mary chose to do. Let's serve God joyfully as Martha should have done. And let's love God wholeheartedly as Jesus expects us to do. So may God bless you. May God keep you. Have a blessed week ahead.